Hello and welcome to the look ahead for Tuesday the 12th of March with me Fiona Sincotta, Senior Market Analyst at City Index. So there are a couple of big reports going on tomorrow. Major focus will be the US CPI inflation release but ahead of that we've got some jobs data from the UK. Now expectations are for the ONS unemployment rate to hold steady at 3.8%. Um, a lot of focus will be on wage growth which is actually expected to cool slightly to 5.7% including bonuses down from 5.8%. Now we know that the Bank of England wants to see this figure cooling so inflationary pressures are cooling before they start to cut interest interest rates so a lot of focus will be on there and it comes after some data some industry data today did actually show that permanent wages inflation or, or permanent wage growth was slowing at the fastest pace since the pandemic so let's just have a look with that in mind with what's going on with the pound uh, US dollar this is the sterling US dollar chart obviously there is the um, we need to take into consideration what will be happening with the US dollar as far as inflation is concerned but let's just have a quick look here what's been going on the pound US dollar broke out of that symmetrical triangle and rallied last week to a seven month high of 129 now it's since eased lower it's just testing the 128 level at the moment it's fallen back below the 128.30 um, which was the 24 uh, the 2024 high prior to the breakout so I mean as far as what we're going to be watching here buyers are going to look to get that price meaningfully back over 128 in order to take the 129 level to push on to 130 sellers are going to be looking to defend that 128 level um, as far as support is concerned below there we'll be looking at around 127.70 um, which is the uh, February high and then below that you've got 127 which is the falling trend line support now as I said we can't really talk about the uh, sterling US dollar without taking into account what's going to be happening with the US dollar tomorrow we've got the US inflation data expectations are for US inflation to hold steady at 3.1 percent year on year but core inflation is expected to cool and the, the market's going to be looking for the signs that that trend in inflation of cooling inflation continues um, in order to support the view that the Federal Reserve will be looking to cut interest rates in June. We heard from Federal Reserve Chair Powell last week who said that you know the policymakers do want to see more evidence that inflation is cooling before they start to cut interest rates but they're not too far away. So you know if we get a couple of more uh, reports pointing to cooling inflation that would probably pretty much cement the rate cut from the Federal Reserve. Now we have seen the power the US dollar fall lower across last week. It has just picked up a little bit today. We've seen um, the risk sentiment sort of turn a little bit sour, um, which is helping to support the US dollar. But as I said, if we get weaker than expected inflation tomorrow, then we could expect to see the sell off in the US dollar continue. Now, just having a look at what's going on here, this is the dollar index. We can see it's fallen away from that 105 high earlier in the year, broken down 200 SMA, fallen to a low last week of 102. 35 that was a six week low has just as I said picked up from that level it's trying to break back above the 103 mark um, if we can get above the 103 mark that's going to bring the 200 SMA back into focus at 103.75 sellers are going to be looking to break below that 102.35 but look at the long wick there on that um, candle last week that suggests there wasn't so much selling demand at the lower levels but if we do get a break below there it will bring 102 into focus um, and just finally to mention what we've got going on next week is the